Whoo! What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we, my son and I, are going to put a cold air intake on his 2013 Audi. <clears throat> so he traded that dart in for this car and the only mod we've done to it so far is pulled the mirrors apart and put those sequential blinkers in like you saw earlier uh so stay tuned and we'll where am i dude i gotta get way better lighting this is crazy my lighting's terrible today we're not in the barn shop we're actually in the garage garage so the lighting's gonna be a little bit different in there but uh, stick around, guys, and we'll get to putting this cold air intake on. Yeah. So these clips right here, you just push in that center dot, and then they pop out. Hmm. You should just pull up. Yeah, just like that. You don't want to like launch these things out, though. Stay like that. Keeping you want to make sure to pluck them out of here? Oh, I think I just broke that one. No, I don't think so. Hard to snap. There you go. You just gotta, just gotta finesse it. Is that just four? Yeah. Now it looks like you need some torques. It's a German like a car. T, for T15 maybe? CTS has like a, or EC, yeah, CTS, my bad, has a whole like installation guide online and it tells you what these are, but I don't really feel like it's either a T15 or a T20. Let's try what you said first. What did I say? T15. That's T15. T T15. Oh, oh is that the, is it. that the workaround? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. You can find a way around all my shit. <laughs> That's not a T15. Okay, then it's T20. T20? T20? I think I actually kind of remember it saying T20. Where's that? So there's two of those? Yeah. That already looks like it was coming off. That's kind of crazy. Oh, yeah, it'll just snap back in there unless it's broken. Oh, yeah, no, it snapped back in. I'll just mess with that stuff later. I guess we'll see. Because that goes away, does, or does that go back on? I think this goes away, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's check it out. I kind of want to get these out before I start pulling on shit. Yeah, well, you got them all undreaded. Why don't your dad help you? Yeah, I'll just get them all undreaded. Why don't your dad help you? That feels like it's unthreaded. It's just looking at it. And I lift up and push up. Okay, where am I putting these? I'll put everything in my pocket. Okay, that works. And then this I should just, just snap, snap off. off. Yep. Yeah. Cool beans. <sighs> and then I don't remember what they removed next. Same. Well, you can well, loosen actually, these first. That's different size. First, let's take this off. Actually, those are bigger than T20s. That's your math sensor. Yeah. So we're gonna need this piece here for the. So what I would do if I was you, I is heard I would loosen these. Yeah, and I heard everyone's just loosening here. So everyone's just loosening. Yeah, because this. this whole thing goes, it's and then good. you can disconnect the yeah. math yeah. part once it's out. So you're thinking here first, or you're thinking here first? Because this is. I'm just thinking gonna... I would loosen these in that clamp. That way, this thing will just come out. Come out, yeah. Is that a T15 or that? No, so that's small. bigger than the T20. Huh? Probably like a T25 or something. Well, good thing I have one of those. T I'm mad. T25. I'm mad that these have service rust. Yeah, those tools are going to do that. If they get a little bit of moisture on them, I mean, it doesn't even have to rain solid on them. They can just get some yeah. moisture. Yeah. Dude, we got to get you a little impact driver. That's what I need. 
I'm trying to figure out where our other one is, but I don't think we're going to have something that can fit on there. All that's if you out. have a three eighths to quarter inch and a quarter inch socket, we could build something up and you could use that electric ratchet. I was about to say maybe for this, but I think it's dead, isn't it? Because it was sitting in the garage for like a um, year. Let me check. Let me check it out. Yeah, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to pull this out. Network. We don't have T twenty. We only have like one Torx bit size, and it's usually on like all the cars that are like most commonly to have that. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. The, oh, there's a couple more. I see one down there. Oh, shit. Well, how am I going to get to that one? I might have to undo that clamp. I'm thinking. Do you have a light? Uh huh. I'm thinking. I'm thinking if I just go down here. Then that'll make it stuff easier. Okay. And then I'm gonna have to take this off. And then because these these rubber things right here, yeah, we have to take those off and reuse them. Oh, you do? Yeah. So I'm thinking for this, I'll probably just throw it on a ratchet. So your hose clamps will take a seven millimeter. That's all there's. I just feel like it's loose already. It might be. Shit. There we go. Well, that eliminates doing <laughs> There you go. Hey, look at the turbo. <laughs> Little turbo, baby. Now you should be able to get in there. Oh, you don't even have to take these off, I guess. Huh? Uh uh. No, because this is just the air. Because just... that whole box comes out, huh? Yeah. And then I'm going to need. I promise you I get it right. Watch T35. Do you think for that what rubber grommet? Right there, T35. Not even close. <laughs> Maybe it's this one. Is it? Yeah. Huh. Now this whole air box should just come out. Oh. Eliminates that. Damn. You don't even have to take this off. I think I'm going to shoot that with some degreaser. So we're taking shit apart that we don't need to. Don't be us. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to see how, how easy the screws are to get out. Now this. Hey, it's my daughter. These are the rubber grommets that you need. Yeah. So you're gonna need those. And then they stick back in them holes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they fit. They look just about as big as the ones I got now. They're Bridgestone Bueller's, so. Those would go. Yeah. So I'll just buy them from him if I don't need tires. There you go. Or if I do need tires, I need. Mean. So this is tubing. So what kit is this? This is a CTS turbo kit. CTS turbo kit. Full there and take kit. So. So now we gotta. Oh, there's the ass clip. We gotta build this thing. Gotta put it all together. So we're gonna kind of figure out what's going on here, and then we'll cut you back on. So you have these little S clips that they include in the packet. Looks like this. And those S clips attach onto this piece, like so. And then this piece attaches to this heat shield right here. Here, it looks just like the picture. Oh yeah, it does. That looks good as shit, actually. Are those all stamped in there? Yep. Yep. That ain't going nowhere. Okay, yep. so that turns out like that. You have to move your factory oxygen sensor. Can you see my finger? 
Your factory O2 sensor clip moves to the back of the factory heat shield and then you snap this turbo cold in air cold air in words cold air intake on the factory heat shield and then this heat shield part they give you some bolts and nuts and you drop those through and then Preston will you hold that for a sec shoot it right here and then you take your factory rubber and slide them up on those bolts Uno and dos. And those rubber pieces go right down there. And then plop in the hole. Give it the beans. <laughs> All the mustard. Are they in there? Yeah. They look seeded, don't they? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. She's coming together, fellas. So I'm assuming it would go. So you got to put your math sensor housing in this shield right here and they supply the hardware to do that okay boys we're back for you it's been instantaneous and for us we've kind of been fooling around with this thing a little bit you have to assemble the whole thing but it's turning out pretty cool i mean it's a nice little cold air intake system CTS Turbo. <laughs> That's looking fresh, fellas. I think the they're... lighting in here sucks, so I don't know how good this is going to turn out, but I'm posting it for your laughing enjoyment anyway. All right, fellas. Looks like it's 100% complete. Now, Preston, what did you say? You have to start it and let it run? For five to six minutes. Five to six minutes? With no heat or AC or music. Okay, no heat, no AC, no music. Start it and let it run for five to six minutes. Yeah, but it throws off the air to fuel. You know, if your map sensors 